from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Well, certainly was warm out there today. Most of us easily pushing into the mid 80s and we're going to kind of hover in that mid to upper 80s range tomorrow and then through the course of the weekend, although we will start to notice a reduction in our humidity that'll slowly move on in by tomorrow afternoon and stick around for portions of the weekend, but no major rain chances or at least uh, high rain chances in that forecast over the next at least five to seven days. Hopefully changes down the line. So here's the upper level pattern and we're watching this upper level low that's across the Midwest. And uh, again, that's essentially ushering in uh, some sort of a frontal boundary. Now it's not uh, really pulling any sort of significantly cooler air with it, uh, but at the very least, again, we will notice lower dew points and less humid conditions over the next couple of days. Here's the satellite radar composite. Again, you can see some of the showers and storms across the Midwest with that upper level disturbance. We're not going to see much weather with it. Saw a few clouds through the course of this afternoon, but actually it's going to be back to plenty of sunshine heading into tomorrow as high pressures are going to be banking in from the north and west. Of course, this is at the surface, so we are looking at pretty nice conditions as we round out the week tomorrow, but certainly on the warm side, powered Doppler 3 is quiet uh, late this evening. So again, no major issues there. We are looking to stay pretty quiet through tonight. Tropics uh, only game in town or only storm in town. I should say tropical storm Tammy winds now of 60 miles per hour just east of the leeward and windward islands. And in fact, the islands here uh, will have to deal with perhaps a category one hurricane through the course of the weekend, but then thereafter Tammy is going to be recurving harmlessly out into the open Atlantic. So uh, again, certainly good news for the Gulf of Mexico and us here in Acadie and no major issues there out in the tropics. Now, as far as tonight, temperatures milder compared to the past couple of nights, mid 60s only for those low temperatures, lower 60s though for northern Acadiana. And then we are looking at a lot of sunshine for our Friday. Nice looking day, just warm, upper 80s and some spots could push uh, the lower 90s. But notice the winds, they'll start to come in out of the northwest tomorrow afternoon, bringing in that slightly more comfortable air with those lower dew points, upper 50s to lower 60s is where we'll start Saturday. Some high level clouds mixing in with the sunshine into Saturday afternoon. Still warm and uh, less humid again, mid to upper 80s, and that's pretty much where we're going to push into Sunday as well. As far as some fog, could see some patchy fog in spots uh, later on tonight through about daybreak tomorrow morning, but again, it's, it's going to be patchy. Not everyone necessarily going to get in on that, but just something to keep in mind first thing tomorrow morning. Temperature wise, again, most of us in the mid 60s by tomorrow morning, lower 60s there as uh, you get into northern Acadiana. Other than that, lots of sunshine into our Friday afternoon upper 80s to even lower 90s in spots. A nice looking day, just temperatures running above where they should be for the time of year. Upper 50s to near 60 is where we'll start Saturday. Uh, and then we are temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s for our Saturday afternoon with some of those higher level clouds mixing in with the sunshine. So clouds have kicked out of here from earlier this afternoon. Fair skies in place. 65 will be your projected low. Notice the true view sky uh, indicating the possibility of some patchy fall through daybreak tomorrow morning and then for tomorrow 91 the projected high and the record tomorrow it sits at 91 that was set back in 1926 mostly sunny skies so a warm but nice finish to the week indeed as we head into the weekend mid to upper 80s for our high temperatures with those higher level clouds mixing in with the sunshine so all things considered not bad for homecoming festivities over at UL or any of your other weekend plans we do stay dry uh, and as we head into next week temperatures continuing to run above normal as we'll be well into the 80s and we'll keep our fingers crossed that we start to see some slightly better rain chances returning toward the end of that 10 day forecast we'll have to look at weather for now but stay with us We'll have more coming up after the break.